wrestling, Robbie Brookside faced the anarchist Doug Williams in a match for the FWA British Heavyweight title. Brookside was representing the old school who have longed to get their hands on the prestigious title ever since they invaded the FWA some months ago. But Williams proved a difficult opponent for Brookside and the match went right to the 15 minute time limit ending in a draw. What this will do for the FWA now is uncertain. The old school are sure to keep after the title. Can Williams retain it or will he fall to the combined power of the old school? After the match, Flash Barker and the boys attack Williams, shoving Brookside out of the way. As good as saying, you didn't get the job done, we can. But it was Williams who came back once more, showed that the mob didn't rule on this occasion, hitting his patented Revolution DDT on first slash of the boys. And then Creed of the boys before going on to deliver it to Flash Barker, the man who, remember, turned on Alex Shane some weeks ago on this very show. So Doug Williams is still the FWA champion. The old school are still without titles. This one is going to run and run. Flash Parker, 
Now, he's, he's turned away, and Justin Richards. Ooh. He's betrayed us all, he's turned to the old school, had him spoken, actually, had him spoken to, his name called himself a twisted genius, Aeneas. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's gone too far. I myself stood in this room, two feet away, as the was hitting the head with a chair by a double D.
Come on, Andrew, get stuck in. Do your work. Let's have a fair fight. Coin, making sure that he 
makes the tag first, but this allows a double team by both members of the boys on Ash, repeatedly slamming him into that corner. And there was no tag made there. Referee, get a grip. There was no tag made. There was merely the sound of one man clapping. television show we have Alex Shane teaming with the WWE's Harvard Chris Nowitzki against Drew McDonald and Flash Barker and Ash into the corner looking for some kind of neck breaker or crusher sticks got out of it no just as Ash reversed the reversal in came Fires for the clothesline taking Ash down illegally I might add of Curve on the outside is plain for anyone to see. He's trying to get the crowd behind Ash now, but what Ash really needs is to make a tag to his partner, to his brother. They're not really brothers, brothers from different mothers, but they're the same man inside. They are the new breed, they are the future. And Ash, with a side Russian leg sweep, trying to make the tag, but it sticks him. Cuts him off, and once again, Curve trying to come in. You're not helping your partner there, Curve. All you're allowing is the boys to double team. And is this a gorilla press? A gorilla press implies into the scoop. But look at the guile! Look at the guile of the breeder. Ash turning the gorilla press into a DDT, taking Pliers down. A Zaguri attempt. First one misses. Second one takes sticks down. Come on, make the tag. Make the tag, Ash. He's bleeding from the nose, but all that will be forgotten because Carves in some stiff kicks, a roundhouse heel kick, and another to the chest, to the, to the nether regions of, of Pliers. That went lower than Barry White's voice. And now a couple of slams from Carves. He hurt his back on that one. Pliers is a big boy. Again, like Barry White, but curves up again. Close lines, flyers to the outside. Who are the legal men here? I've lost track. It sticks, attempting Irish whip. Curve reverses it. Hurricane Rana taking sticks down. And Curve signals that this is the end. This is all over. He's, he's taken down. It's the tequila sunrise, otherwise known as the rings of Saturn. Almost a submission, but in comes Flyers. He breaks the submission hold. And a spear, a spear. He's taken Curve down with that spear. Curve is on the outside. Ash and Sticks are down in the ring. But Ash is back up. He shoves Flyers off. Flyers takes out his own men in the boys. Ash and Keener down. Curve managed to move out the way. Very quick thinking by Ash, recovering from his blows. And now, the reverse neck breaker, crusher, whatever it is, out the corner, sticks his down. Flyers after Curve, a backdrop over the barrier to the hard wooden floor. And now Curve up to the top of the barrier. A tope. Taking, taking Flyers down. It's a car wreck out on the floor. A human car wreck. Back in the ring, we've got Ash and Sticks. I think they're the legal men in this fight. I'm really not sure. There's bodies everywhere. Creed and Slash are down on the outside. Their interference backfired, as did that punch by Ash. As he punched Sticks to the floor, Sticks boots for him low. And now Ash is down. Sticks is up. Corner. What's this going to be? Some hard hitting offense, no doubt. As Sticks climbs, Curb, Curb's in the ring. A thump to the bum. He's lifted him up on his shoulders. Here goes Ash on the top rope. The swinging slam. There's the three count. Ash and Curb, the new breed, are still FWA. Tag Team Champions, the boys have failed, the old school have failed.
was four on two, and they still couldn't get the job done. Old school bullying tactics, as we see the retro cam picture in picture vision of the peers combination. The old school couldn't get it done, their bully boy tactics just weren't enough. I've run out of time. I'll see you next week.